Hi, and welcome to Class Clown Series. In the previous video, you saw one of our students take the first part of this IELTS speaking test. So in this video, we will cover parts two and three. It's a good idea for you to also participate in this exam and make sure to check our feedback to Jessica in the comment section below. So I would like to describe a tour, uh, the tourist attraction that I really enjoyed visiting. That is uh, the place called Halifax, that is one of the province, provinces of Canada. I traveled there with my uh, dad and my sister in 2020 after my graduation. And because I need a break and I want to relax myself, that's why I chose um, to travel there. And on the other side, on the other hand, I want to travel more and know more places of Canada. That's why I chose uh, to go there. And I love to traveling there because there are many picturesque views and um, I love eating over there too because they have the special dishes the lobster the lobster there is super fresh which make me really attract and I love to eat that because I can finish the whole lobster by myself and that is the first time I try lobster also. And in the future, I think I will come back this place because um, I really enjoy it and I'm willing to share my experience with my friends or my other family members so that my brother or my mom. So I love to come back here. We are going to discuss different kinds of tourist attractions, Jessica. What are the most popular tourist attractions in your country? So I live in Vietnam and Vietnam have, has a lot of um, popular places. Uh, one of the most uh, popular places is Da Lat. That is one in the middle of the country. And the other one is Hanoi, which is our capital. And they are attracted because they have a lot of uh, beautiful views. That's why a lot of people come there to visit. Yeah, and a lot of food also. Mm -hmm. How do the types of tourist attractions that younger people like compare with those that older people like to visit? So in the in general, the most important things is the culture of the food. So every places in my country in Vietnam has a very special food for each uh, province or each cities. Each city. That's why they try to come there to explore new food, explore a new culture. Um, but some, is, some are different because the older they want peaceful, but the younger they want to enjoy with their friends. So they usually will take some place that they can try as a group and take pictures and post on Facebook to like, make their life feel very chill, enjoy. But the old people, uh, they actually love to relax by themselves, just take extra time to not put too much pressure on them so they can feel more, um, um, how can I say, maybe like, uh, um, maybe it's got to say like not too much uh, burden on their shoulder. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Do you agree that some tourist attractions, for example, national museums or galleries, mm -hmm. should be free to visit? 
Um, I don't think I agree with this mm-hmm. because I think they need to have a little bit of fee to for the entrance fee because those um, amount of money will support the museum for maintenance. Uh, for example, clean up to make it always shiny so people keep go in and look at them or uh, can collect the information for the history or they can take a picture. Sometimes they allow, but sometimes they don't. But I think that is fair enough to get a little bit of the trans, uh, entrance fee mm-hmm. to maintain everything. Okay. Why is tourism important to a country, in your opinion? Well, there are many factors which, I- which are affect the country in uh, many ways, such as economy or uh, culture. Um, because a, a country which is attract more visitors, that means that that country has a lot of voices in in on over the world. So more people will know them, and they can grow um focus and develop economy in general, and can let other country like no to them so they can invest the money and travel and then get connection will be the good point for that too so they can have more opportunities for everything like job um money and cultural and famous i yeah. see thank you very much what are the benefits to individuals who visit another country as tourists uh, you mean the um, benefit for the person who visits, Correct. right? For visitor, so I think the visitor they will have um, their own experience. That is the first thing, and they can open their mind. I mean, ex- explore the universe in the different views. So they can be in the person to know exactly the feeling, the ambience of the uh, uh, people around to just make sure that everything on online, like example like YouTube is correct or not, so they can experience. I think that is a good point for everyone to, ex- mm-hmm. to, to explore a new country. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to ask you one last question, Jessica. Okay. How necessary is it for tourists to learn the language of the country they're visiting? Um, for me, learning a new language is always a challenge, but that would be really helpful if they learn a language um, that they want to visit in that country, because at least they can communicate and that communicate can help them to find out uh, places uh, without like uh, nervous, too nervous or worry. So they can ask for hotel. Where is that in that con- in that languages? So they can um, easy to man easier to manage everything. They don't need to too uh, nervous for those things. Um, and then they, when they, when someone know one more language, more than one languages, that will be awesome to them too. So they can have more friends for their connection. So just build up the connection. All right. Thank you very much, Jessica. This is the end of your IELTS speaking test. Thank you. All right. Good job. Well done. Now we think it's really useful for you to go to the comment section and read our comments for Jessica. Hopefully you can avoid making similar mistakes in the future. Happy learning guys!